Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel and another episode of Miniatures Mondays. Today, we are building a model car. Um, sort of. Let me explain. Uh, so in the past, we've done videos on Hot Wheels and modifying them and like some new ones that have come out. We've looked at slot cars uh, that I picked up at a thrift shop. Uh, as well as some of my own collection. We looked at some models that I was getting rid of, which are live on eBay now, by the way, um, and link to that video below uh, if you've missed it. Um, but now I kind of want to, like, actually work on a model. This is my first uh, attempt at, like, trying to build something. I previously did a Lego build, uh, which turned to be, like, terribly long um, and not very exciting unless you like listening to me drone on on random uh, racing facts. Uh, and I tried to do a time lapse, and that failed horribly. Uh, I'm still working on that, but I, I wanted to try another live action film and kind of like show some of what goes into building model cars. It's kind of like getting to be model car season up here. We have a bunch of shows uh, when football ends, uh, basically up until when the weather breaks. Um, and then again in the fall, we've got shows from when the weather gets crappy until when the holidays start. So those are kind of our two uh, model show seasons up here in the Pacific Northwest. So um, in the spring, our shows are all about cars. The next one is at the uh, World of Speed Museum in, in McMinn, or no, not McMinnville. No, it's in um, Wilsonville, Wilsonville, Oregon. Uh, really awesome museum. If you're localish to it at all or traveling up here, I highly recommend the museum. Uh, but anyways, we have an event coming up there in February with the um, Saba, uh, S-A-B-A. -A. They are a modeling club. Um, out of Portland, really nice guys. I wish I could join them. Um, I'm just, I have too much going on and I have small kids and making it to their meetings is just something that's not in my future. Uh, but, but one day, one day. So anyways, it's Saturday the 16th, uh, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the World of Speed Museum, uh, which is in Wilsonville, Oregon. Again, highly recommend that, uh, if you can make it. But anyways, it's an all car model car show. Um, and we will be doing a video from the show, like showing you some of our most favorite builds there. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. You'll be able to tag along anyway. But one of the um, categories they have that I have entered before is small scale. It's for anything smaller than like your typical 124th, 125th car. Previously, I would enter with my HO scale slot cars. Um, but now they kind of have like a slot car class going. So I needed a miniature car. And I happen to have this, which I... Built one in my childhood, and now I've got another one, 1969 uh, American Motors AMX. Um, as you know from my wheelie video and from anybody that knows me, I come from an AMC family. I absolutely love everything AMC, especially AMXs and Javelins. So I really like this kit. I had one as a kid. I picked this one up on eBay for like super, 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 super cheap. Actually, no, correct that. I did not get this one on eBay. I got this one at a swap meet at our last model show. Uh, one of the sellers had it new in the box, and I ripped that cellophane off, and I built it and painted it because I don't give a snot what a model is worth. I build them. I, don't, I do not collect models. I build models. Um, I've got some really pricey models that I have pieced together from buying built-ups, um, and we'll totally do a video on how you like strip the paint off a built-up and build it yourself, uh, which will be pretty cool. But anyways, uh, this is the AMX. The AMT kit, this is a tiny little kit. It's 143rd scale. It's even smaller than the 130 seconds that are typical for, like, um, kid snap tights, which my kids just finished a couple of snap tights. This is my son's uh, 132nd Camaro, and you can see how much smaller the AMX is. And in, in real life, you know, the AMX is more just about the same size. So, yeah, when you put it down together, you can see just how tiny it is compared to that. And this thing's small compared to, you know, a full-size 124th scale model car. So, we're working with something kind of tiny here. Um, it's not that much bigger than a Hot Wheel, truth be told. I wish I had a Hot Wheel laying around here to show you. I do not. Ooh, oh, I got a slot car. Ooh, ah. This is a slot car, 164th scale. I mean, you can see this thing's not much bigger than a Hot Wheel. So, kind of cool. Um, I really like this kit because it's super well detailed. The body is extremely accurate to a real AMX, which a lot of the, like the infamous Mini Lindy's, which had a, a side that you glued onto the top because they didn't have slide molds, were terrible. They didn't look anything like the real car. They also had like AMXs came with back seats and other crazy random stuff like that. But anyways, um, I spray bombed this thing today. Uh, I, I, am, I own an airbrush. I never use it. I am 
completely dedicated to spray paint. I mean, this is right out of the can on a way too cold day, and it is a pretty darn good finish. i got to wet sand this and polish it, um, and then maybe clear coat the car. I haven't decided yet. Uh, but yeah, I just, I love getting automotive spray paint and spraying the cars and, and doing it that way. So, um, but this is just, just supposed to be a quick, fun little build because I really wanted to build something new to bring to the show and the small scale was kind of the easiest way to go. Um, the rest of the pieces are, we've got some chrome bumpers, some wheels and axles, an interior tub, a uh, dashboard, a little steering wheel. Um, and some glass and then a little a couple of things sold the axles that's it that is the entire kit uh, so we're gonna work on it here a little bit um, I'm actually going to do the interior tub here we're gonna do some painting and don't seem to have the color I want I'll go with this one we're gonna deal with the Tamiya X7 red um, so I've mentioned this in my last model car uh, video. When you build model cars, people tend to want to paint the interiors black. I mean, look, even the even the box art has black, and you just you can't see them. You can't see anything in there. Um, and I read a really awesome article in Scale Auto Enthusiast once, talking about how it doesn't matter what color you paint the outside of the car. You meet you need to make the interior bright, 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 bright make it stand out it will make the model pop so much more um, on the shelf and like why not you don't have to sit in the car every day who cares if it's um you know not black or gray or neutral like do that bright interior do that red do that blue do that white uh, so i started doing that and i've been really really happy with doing that so highly recommended okay brush. there we go so i use a wide assortment of brushes in fact here let me take you on a little tour of my work in progress model desk. Um, I got this thing at the local grocery store that um, in their like um, cosmetics department. It's for like nail polish, uh, but it fits uh, you know, little testers things perfectly. Uh, brushes and then I got like my knives and, and stuff in there. And then this I purchased uh, online from Ammo of Mig Jimenez. Uh, and there's a couple other companies doing them now that's an MDF board that's been like laser cut and it's sized for like Tamiya pots. A um, little bit too big for uh, testers, but you know, making it work anyway. Um, again, all sorts of little um, knickknacks and doodads that you can get to kind of hold things. But in general, you want to keep things on your workspace where you can um, see them and get to them. And then here I've got uh, an Ikea display case with some of the other stuff in it that's not cars so don't look if you don't like not cars don't look but we do we play with more than just cars here too um, i build tanks and planes and sci-fi ships and figures and gundams and um ships and i think i already said ships but anyways yeah uh, i like to build i like to build all sorts of things but yeah cars is still definitely my my go-to so all right let's get to work on this thing let's let's put some paint on Mm -hmm. I have no idea how interesting this is going to be, but we're going to try. So normally I would have spray painted this, but again, it is so stinking cold up here. The paint just really didn't want to paint. Um, the paint didn't want to dry. Nothing wanted to work. Um, but I just, I really wanted to get something built. So I'm dealing with a less than stellar paint job and hoping I can fix it with... Um, uh, sanding and polishing and all that but I, I should be able to shouldn't shouldn't be an issue at all uh, so and again being so small and so simple we're not going for really super detailed here we're just going for fun we want it to really look good sitting um, on the table at the show uh, we want it to look really good sitting in that display case on the car shelf uh, with all the other AMC's and funnily enough, I've got a, a 124th scale uh, Johan 68 AMX model that I really want to do in the same color scheme, the dark blue with the bright red interior. Um, so we'll have to see what I end up doing. I probably won't do that interior red now. Um, you know, I try not to do too much repeating in my model building. I used to when I started. I'd build the same car three different times, three different ways, and then my shelf got like really boring looking because... It was just the same thing over and over again. Man, sorry, I was out of frame there. Apologies. Uh, I'm trying to paint this, like, through the camera. And again, that's really difficult. I still haven't gotten um, used to doing things through the camera, even with filming all the stuff for the big cars. 
Um, hopefully, if you watch this for the miniatures, you're checking out our big car builds too. We're building a, a Porsche Boxster for SCCA Autocross. Um, we've got an SVT Mustang that we've used for all sorts of things that we're kind of um, talking about what happened to it last year uh, with drifting and autocrossing and track racing and drag racing. Um, I got a $500 Bronco I picked up that we're doing like a cheap four-wheel drive thing with. And then I got my daily driver Mazda 5 that people are like really interested in. So we got all sorts of fun big cars on the channel too. It's, it's not just little stuff around here. But conversely, if you do the big stuff, I really hope you hang around for these little things or that you enjoy them. Um, I know some of you guys are picking up paintbrushes again for the first time in a long time to build some models and things like that. And um, Jeff Peterson, talking to you, buddy. Uh, how's your RX-8 model coming along? Can you can you post a picture in the comments below? That would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm just getting some paint on things. Uh, let me talk about paint here for a second. So some of those little tester bottles you saw uh, back in the, the earlier shot are going on over 20 years old, like literally, and they still hold good paint. Um, they are oil-based. They stink. You need a uh, lacquer thinner or enamel thinner, um, depending on which one it is, uh, to clean your brushes and all that stuff. Obviously, I am not outside. I am inside, and, you know, you don't really want to paint that stuff inside. Uh, a while ago, and again, it's probably been 20-plus years, uh, acrylic started getting really popular with the model-building crowd, um, water-based paints. Um, and I was late to convert, but boy, when I did, I loved them. So now uh, all of the new paints I buy are water-based acrylic, um, low odor, no odor, like the Tamiya's, um, like the testers. I'm really liking the Tamiya's. I used to be a testers person, but man, uh, it's kind of like building Japanese models too. Like, um, you know, you build old AMT models and you deal with spending three days getting rid of flash and trying to get parts to fit and then you pick up like a Hasegawa and everything just falls together perfectly and you're like oh what have I been doing with my life so um yeah same kind of thing once I once you've picked up to me a there's kind of no reason to not and you know what I keep forgetting I have this helping hands haha -ha, check that out I don't know if I can get that in the frame but aha I think I can check that out I picked one of these up at Harbor Freight. It's called the Helping Hands. They're super cheap. It was like, I don't know, less than 10 bucks. Might have even been less than five. And then, of course, you got coupons and all that. Um, and obviously, I used it for spray painting uh, this model, which is also my first time. Normally, I would take a, um adult beverage and, um, like, double-side sticky tape the bottom side of the car and then, like, tape it to that and then use it to paint. Uh, <laughs> has been my go-to method forever, but, uh, this thing was really cool and useful, and, um, so hopefully, uh, I'll keep using it. I, I kind of need to get another. You can only paint one color at a time on it, which is fine if you're, like, restoring a Hot Wheel or something, but if you're building a model car, you're usually painting a couple, three, at least, different colors simultaneously. Um, so, yeah, it'd be super nice to get that taken care of. Man, all right, hey, you know what? I bet this will work for the steering wheel, too. Yeah, get back here. Boop. Ha <laughs> ha. Check that out. All right. That's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, full disclosure. I don't, um, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I don't make anything off these videos. I don't have any affiliate things. I'm just a dude with a camera sharing, um, his passion for modeling with everybody else. And, um, so I don't get anything from Harbor Freight for this. I literally like, I just, I found it and I bought it and I'm sharing with you that experience. If you want to, great. Uh, I don't get anything out of it. So, um, yeah, you know, just so that that disclosure is out there. I'm not just saying it's a, you know, earn a penny or whatever. There's one little spot in there. Boop. All right. Um, so this wheel rim is supposed to be wood um, on the AMX, the 68 anyway, which is what this car is. I know it says 69 on there, but this is a 68. It has no hood. Uh, over the instrument cluster and I know it's like impossible to tell but inside the interior of the door panels you see that little arrow there that arrow is supposed to be wood grain on a 69 it's just a, a straight up and down box only the 68s had the really cool arrow so uh, 
that and the hooded dash are basically the only differences, uh, at least at this scale. Um, so this is definitely a 68. We'll make sure to, to do it up like a 68. But yeah, on a 68, I believe all of the wheel rims were wood. Um, hmm, I'd have to go and double check that, but I think it'll look better as wood than a red rim anyway, so I'm not even going to paint it red. Um, I did paint where it's supposed to be wood on this red, but eh, whatever. We'll, we'll cover that up with uh, wood when we get there. So nothing on that needs to be red. Nothing in the car needs to be red. Uh, the taillights need to be red, but a different color red. We'll use, oh, I might actually use a Sharpie on this. That's kind of a cool thing. But, yeah, got a nice nice coat in there, and it'll dry. It'll be uh, a mostly glossy appearance, um, which will be fine on, on this scale. The car is so small, you're going to want that gloss to kind of reflect light inside of it anyway. Uh, if I was building like a 124th, I would, I would satin coat everything with a clear coat when I was done. Uh, to make it more realistic on the sheen. Yeah, I just got my model desk set up um, a couple of days ago. So this is kind of, obviously my kids have built, but this is kind of my first foray onto the new desk and my first foray for a while. So I'm pretty excited to be here. I hope you guys are excited to watch. Let me see, where did my... Uh, if you've seen my Hot Wheels detailing video, you know I'm a fan of Sharpies and their detailing abilities. And I'm here to tell you that you can do more than just black or silver with Sharpies. You can also do red, which is, and again, always have a spare. I'm big about spares. Um, but a lot of the Hot Wheels guys, they like using red Sharpies to do the taillights because they're like just the right amount of translucence. So that should work here too. We'll give it a... Give it the old college try. And so the more coats you put on, the darker it gets. But that's already looking pretty good. Boop. And again, you can just wipe off a mistake if you get it quick enough. And if you don't, you just get a little... Uh, See, now I forgot. I even did a, a video on it. But yeah, you can you can clean it off if you make a mistake. Rubbing alcohol, that's what it is. Rubbing alcohol is what takes this away. Isopropyl. I did a whole video on it, again. <laughs> Memory's not the greatest these days. Yeah, that looks all right. Check that out. Pretty tail lighty looking. Look at that at that angle. It looks really nice. And it just takes a couple seconds with a sharpie. See, there's you know you just take your time and and detail away and you can make you know this stuff look good. Okay, so the grill here, I got something fun for that. I got this stuff called Detail Enhancer. Where did it go? Here, stuff, 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 stuff. Aha, there's black ink. That might work. Mm. I don't want to be too I don't think that. Yeah, so you're never supposed to shake the bottle. You're supposed to twirl it or swirl it or use a toothpick or whatever. No. I forget these things sometimes. This is called Detail Enhancer, uh, otherwise known as a wash. It's basically a really, really, really thin down paint um, that gets into all the little nooks and crannies. Uh, and you use it to literally enhance detail. It's very popular with like figure painters. Um, and now like armor modeling guys use it a lot. It's still kind of rare to see it with any model car people. They might uh, use a detail wash on like an engine block to try and make it look a little grimy. Um, but it's fantastic for this kind of stuff. So like here in the grill, the grill bars are supposed to be silver. Uh, it was actually silver leaf on the real cars. And then obviously in between would be uh, open to the radiator and all that stuff. So at this scale, it's just gonna look black. But this detail enhancer, it will like wick down. Do you see that wicking action? Let me do it again up close. Watch, it will wick. Make sure it's still in focus. Again, I'm trying to do this through the camera. See it wicking, how it goes up and down too, not just side to side. Like it's it's not just gravity doing that. Like it has it's capillary action. 
it's getting down into all those little nooks and crannies uh, to bring out the detail in that slatted grill. There we go. And again, you can you can layer this up. You can do more than one pass, just like the the sharpie. Let this dry and come back again. So look at the grill now. How much more detail that looks, and how you can see the AMX emblem call out so much clearer. Um, and yeah, we're actually going to use this on the headlights too to give them a little bit more of a realistic look, and a little bit there to bring out the 69 on that. All right, so when this dries, I'm going to come back in and I'll do another coat on that part. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll do the same thing here. I'll put a little, just put a dab on the license plate. This will dry with a dull coat on it, um, so that it will make that license plate look not chrome, which is fine, because that's kind of the look we're going for. Same thing, just a tiny little bit there on the little backup lenses. But yeah, that's, oh, you know what, we do the wheels too. Let me show you the wheels. It'll be fun on the wheels. That's kind of in focus. It looks in focus on the tiny little screen. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so check this out side by side. Can you see a difference? I hope you can see a difference. I see a difference in person. Like this one is all washed out in the light. Like you can't, you're losing the details. This one I can actually tell that there's, you know, um, five spokes and little vent holes and things. Try to get different, different lightings in there to show you guys. I'll make this one look the same. See, check that out. Now I got a got a pair of them. And do the other side, and then I'll probably end it off there just to kind of show working on a model project. Um, if you guys like watching this, um, shoot me with a thumbs up or a comment, and I will film another one the next time I work on it. Um, I'm happy to share all of the car content with everybody as long as people are digging it. Um, and I don't want don't to waste time filming it and putting it up if, if no one's digging it. But if, if people are digging it, then then yeah, I want to I wanna keep filming it. And like I said, it's, I don't make anything out of this. I'm just doing it for fun. So I like sharing my, my hobbies with everyone. And hopefully everyone else likes sharing along with me. So yeah, that's our, that's our 69 AMX. This paint is still carrying. It's actually a little tacky. Because <laughs> it's so cold out, I probably shouldn't be touching it that much. But yeah, we'll let it uh, we'll let it dry out and outgas for uh, another day or so, and um, wet sand it and polish it and take a look at it and see if it needs to be uh, clear coated at all or whatnot. And then I also got to figure out the over the top stripes. Uh, Go Pack AMXs had uh, stripes over the top, twin racing stripes, and then a little pinstripe too. This one obviously it's so small you're not going to get the pinstripe on there, but um, the twin over the top stripes we can get on there. I gotta figure out how I want to do that. If I want to mask it and paint them on, or if I want to get just some um, vinyl striping and just stripe it up myself. Um, yeah, and then if I do do the vinyl, if I want to try to bury it under the clear coat, I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, that's the that's the car for now, and you can see when it's together on the shelf. Let's see how much better that pops than a black interior. That's gonna look great. Yeah. All right. So until next time, uh, this has been another episode of Miniatures Mondays. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that one.